parks and programs accessible for all to enjoy. Recreation and fitness opportunities that result in good health and well-being. Acting as stewards of our precious environment. And fostering partnerships and alliances that promote our parks. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Sometimes there are stairs, sometimes there are ramps. So we will physically have people there to lift you out of the water, put you in your wheelchair. The paratriathlon program we have is called the Dare to Try Club or Team. Um, it's basically a partnership between uh, the Chicago Park District and the Great Lakes Adaptive Sports Association. And it started with you know, three friends that are in adaptive sports and we got certified as uh, USA Triathlon coaches and thought it'd be a uh, a great program to start and it serves individuals that have physical disabilities or visual impairments and uh, introduces them to the sport of triathlon. And then in December, um, the International Paralympic uh, Committee announced that um, paratriathlon was going to be a sport in 2016. So we um, really benefited from that announcement. We kind of, we kicked off um, in January of this year and have just been overwhelmed with the response of athletes interested. Since Dare to Try began, Athletes with disabilities across Chicago have been training hard and having fun while learning about triathlons. Triathlon consists of, of swimming, biking, and running in that order, and um, there are some adaptations that we need to uh, accommodate for some of these um, athletes, uh, mostly equipment. In between each, you know, the swim, bike, and the run, you're going to have to transition to, you know, different pieces of equipment they're going to be using. So. Sometimes they call transition the, the fourth discipline. You got the three disciplines, the swim, bike, run, and then you've got the transition. We have kids, adults, and injured service members that are involved. Our youngest athletes are six and seven years old, and we go all the way up to individuals in their 60s that have participated this season in triathlons. Um, all of our athletes have a physical disability or visual impairment. Um, we have amputees, spinal cord injury, we have traumatic brain injury, stroke, cerebral palsy, spina bifida, as well as low vision and totally blind. We're here at Northerly Island, which is a great facility to practice and train at. We train here once a week and it's a 1.3 mile loop and we do all of our biking and our running here. We have all the coaches come out, we have equipment storage here. So we're able to really monitor a lot of these athletes and see where they're at as far as their level and how to prepare them for any races that are coming up. Paratriathlon training involves swimming and there are many Chicago beaches and pools that are accessible to athletes. A lot of our beaches have accessible walkways that will bring you all the way out to the water. They're pretty wide. They will definitely fit almost two wheelchairs side by side. Each disability group has specific um, adaptations and pieces of adaptive equipment that they utilize for um, the triathlon. So our amputees, they go and see a prosthetist and they basically get fitted with a, a bike leg and, and or a running leg. Our wheelchair athletes or anybody that doesn't have use of their legs uses on the bike, they use a hand pedaled bicycle and on the run they use a racing wheelchair and we also have visually impaired athletes who will swim tethered to a sighted guide. They will bike on a tandem bicycle and then they will run with a sighted guide tethered with them as well. September 8th was International Paralympic Day and Variety of Illinois was at practice to make a special presentation. And so today I'm very excited, pleased, proud and honored to make a very special presentation to two budding triathletes who are participating with Dare to Try. Variety of Illinois is a children's charity. It's part of a national and international network of chapters. And Variety was founded to provide assistance to kids in need. Today is International Paralympic Day, which um, was founded by the International Paralympic Committee a couple of years ago to celebrate the Paralympic movement and spread the word about Paralympic sport around the world. And today, Variety is partnering with several different organizations, including Dare to Try, and we are providing pieces of equipment, an adapted bike, and a hand cycle to a little boy and a little girl with disabilities who hope to become triathletes. And your favorite color is purple, right? Yep. And so guess what we got you? A purple chair. A purple hand cycle. Are you, gonna, are you trying to do one of the Olympics one day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And this is all for you. <laughs> All right. Kids with disabilities want to be like every other kid. 
and families can't afford $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 for a chair or an adapted bike or a hand cycle. And so often these kids are left to, to deal with what a program might have to offer, to borrow something, or to not do that activity at all. And so Variety really is working hard to fill that gap and enable kids to be kids, to play with their families, to play with their friends, to get out there and be active. It doesn't mean they have to be a Paralympian, but to, to get out and have fun, get in shape, and have, you know, to be a kid. Chicago is a very strong, um, able-bodied triathlon community, and there are just many, many people here looking to give back and work with these athletes. We've been very lucky to have um, volunteers come out to our practices, to pilot tandem bikes, run with our athletes, motivate them, inspire them, assist them at races, um, getting in and out of the water. With the Special Recreation Department in, in uh, the Chicago Park District, uh, you know, our responsibility is to, uh, to serve um, all, all types of populations and within the Special Rec Department we do serve people that have physical disabilities as well as visual impairments. To find out more about Dare to Try, visit their website at daretotrychicago.com or for more information on Park District programs for athletes with disabilities, visit chicagoparkdistrict.com. It just became a Paralympic sport, so it's going to make its debut in Rio in, in 2016. But this is a recreation sport too, so and it's a great form of exercise. So we just want uh, athletes to try it out, you know, and if they want to just recreate and, and come out here and, and train, that's great. If they want to take it to, an, to another level, we're also here to support them there too.